Styron was a great writer because he was a transgressive writer. He commanded the English language in a way that really no other writer of his generation was able to do. In Sophie's Choice, Styron was attacked and even vilified, though his point in that novel was that the Holocaust was not simply aimed at the Jewish people, but that all humanity were targeted by the Nazi final solution. He was afraid the Jewish leaders uh, would object to his protagonist being non-Jewish and going through this Auschwitz horror. It didn't deter him for one second, but I think he thought deeply about it. In the end, he left us with some very strong, very complex novels about race and about genocide. Uh, when Sophie's Choice was published, it received all of the, uh, the Grand Slam benefits that only occasionally happen to a book. It was very satisfying to me to know that I had written a book of pretty high literary quality, but which had one that had a kind of universal appeal. and would be read by many, many people. It satisfied all the, the desires of a writer on practically every level.